Will this be the knockout punch to the Xbox? Is it time to ditch the Switch? Let's go! That's right, PlayStation just announced a brand new handheld, the PSQ. We've been hearing about it, but now we've got it. It's official. That's right, friends. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am here to discuss what has been long rumored. Let's get into it. Sony just announced on their latest Sony something or other, their thing, ha-ha, <laughs> Their showcase, they announced a new game streaming service with true wireless earbuds. Now, what's interesting is Sony, I guess, is going head to head with the Switch because Xbox is just, <laughs> what is even Xbox at this point? No one even seems to know. Um, but PlayStation is, has made many attempts at competing with the switch but now it seems like it may have a competitive advantage they're going to take your ps5 games that you have on the ps5 so not only are they going to convince you to buy a ps5 but they're going to allow you to uh, to stream over wi-fi your games so you can play everything you can always be on the ps5 so not only will you buy the ps5 you'll buy their You'll buy the PSQ, you'll spend thousands of dollars on PlayStation and Sony. It's kind of interesting because if you buy the Switch, you just need the Switch. You hook it up to your TV, it works. This is almost the reverse. Let's uh, We'll see if it works. Let's read a little bit more about it. Project Q has been rumored for a while. It features an 8-inch screen controller attachment on either side, making it look like a DualSense controller with a screen instead of a touchpad. You'll f <laughs> according to IGN, you'll finally be able to play The Last of Us on the can. It's what I've always wanted to do. I uh, nobody seems to know anything, but it is official now. And they're announcing on the portable nature of it. They're like it's going to come with some earbuds. Just what I always needed. More things that can get lost and get sent to the garbage dump that are not disposable. I've always wanted a pair of those instead of just freaking headphones I can plug in that are cheap and I'll have to replace them for $70. You know what I'm saying. Uh, gaming earbuds appear to be on the rise. Uh, we don't know when this is coming or exactly which games, but we did hear a little bit more details. On Ars Technica, they give you a little bit more of the specs from what I understand. Um, the earbuds will also work with your PS5, and this is the most buzzworthy project of the of everything that Sony released. And finally, people are getting away from VR and remote play and all that good jazz. They're just allowing, but they're allowing you to play your system connected to all the games you downloaded at home. I thought I read somewhere that it was going to be like uh, 1080 DPI. Like, it's going to look good. Nobody knows what the pricing is, and nobody knows what the dates are. I would imagine it's the next in, in, going to be in the next two years, so maybe like 2024, 2025? I don't know, but let's see what some of the uh, reader comments are saying on Ars Technica. I imagine the hand will, handheld will be priced well below anything that can play its own games. Who am I kidding? That's right. It's going to cost like a bajillion dollars. Uh, that's the other weird part. Does it have to stream from a local console or can it stream from the cloud? If it can't stream from the cloud, does that mean that your system has to be on at home? It doesn't seem like we've got all of these things figured out. You know... I get it. It's it's like do you you could either be at home playing in front of your TV or you could just be sitting on the couch playing your your device. Although you know, many people have they work at jobs where they have Wi-Fi. Can they leave their device on at home and then stream it? Like, what does this all mean for us? It seems groundbreaking, but there seems to be some certain things, some details that we need to get so that we can fully appreciate what's going on here. Um, you know, some people are saying my experience with home streaming on the PS5 has always been sub pair. 
or subpar uh, when compared to streaming from a gaming PC. Yeah, well, your gaming PC probably cost you like $3,000, not a $600 PS5. You know, uh, some people, eh, they want to compare it to the Wii U, except worse. I don't know. I think this is a good idea. We'll see how it works out. And how much are you really willing to pay? You know... And is the 8-inch screen big enough for everybody? I like the aesthetic of it. I think it looks real good. I definitely could see people playing, you know, God of War or maybe playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn and things like that on there. Can you play online games? Like, what does this look like exactly? When you're playing the Switch, you could play locally with your with your with your friends and i know you can play online as well but you know is the the robustness of the ps5 and playing online games like um are you gonna be able to play diablo 4 are you gonna be able, uh, still be able to play um fallout 76 are you gonna be able to play elden ring like what do all these different things look like will i, I will remain slightly skeptical until i see it it seems like it's going to be very expensive as well. You know, are we talking in the $400 range, $500 range, plus they have to have a PS5? Are we talking $1,000 for the entire package, plus $70 a game? Although I will say that if you have the portable device, does that make your $70 games more, like, more uh, worth more? And then how much storage do you even have on your PS5 to begin with? Again, people are talking about cloud computing. There's a lot of questions going on. Let me know down below what your questions might be because I could use some clarity. I think I might be missing something. Maybe you have more insight than I do. I would love to hear it from you guys. Really appreciate the listen. Thank you guys again. We have a full-length audio podcast you could check out. It's free to you on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. We would love if you watch some additional videos. You could probably see them down below somewhere in this general vicinity. Um, we do live stream. Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Grab a uh, nice drink and come hang out with us. Bring some scissorp. We'll take that as well. But from all that's here, here and our views will kill you. To all of y'all at home, we love all y'all. Sounds like a 10 out of 10. Am I right? We're on to the next one.